here with Treasurer Len Fitch, ma'am. For the folks at home who missed your speech today at Hobnob, can you summarize it for us? Oh, absolutely. One of the big uh, indicators that we talked about today at Hobnob is the financial education and health for our state. It's important that we do the outreach and we teach our children, our workforce, about personal finance. It's a life skill, and until we've not really taught our children, and we need to talk to them in the schools about it, and in the education process, and then we get to higher learning, community colleges, and then again, we're doing the workforce. Unfortunately, we're losing too many of our uh, work employees who have cars that are being repossessed, their homes are being foreclosed on, or their wages are being garnished. We need to change that financial barometer, and currently there are only four six states that teach financial education. I'd like for us to be number five instead of 50. I mean, why is it so important? There's a new report that came out, the federal report, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. It said Mississippi was the least financially capable state in the country. So with that, we need to change it. We need to make that culture change financially and have our citizens, our young employees, our students become more fiscally responsible and accountable. So it's an initiative that will be pushed in the state of Mississippi and nationwide, and I'm glad to be a part of that initiative drive. All right, great. Thanks so much, ma'am.